can confirm that the force of these two blasts not only really left two huge craters uh, in this major highway, it's torn off the face of a building described as the Palestine military branch, a 10-story building, uh, which has been completely gutted. There is some structures still standing, but there is no face to this anymore. And as I look around me, this highway, I counted at least uh, 20 blackened vehicles, which are now metal carcasses. And I'm just going to move a bit closer because I think you may hear the large crowds have gathered here despite the security cordon and they're shouting uh, slogans and chants in support of President Bashar al-Assad. Uh, all the while, the emergency teams here are still on the site. They're searching for body parts uh, and the bulldozers are at work clearing away some of the debris. This is the most powerful explosion to rock uh, Damascus and I can say the whole area looks like a wasteland. It's obviously very soon after the incident itself, Lise, but already I see that there is uh, argument and counter-argument about who actually did this. Every time something happens in Syria, there are two narratives. We have spoken to angry people here at the scene who blamed Saudi Arabia and Qatar and Turkey, countries which have come out in support of the Syrian opposition. And uh, the opposition alleges, as always, that this was the cynical work of the government itself uh, uh, to try to discredit the opposition. All I can say is that there has been massive damage caused by these two blasts. Whoever did it wanted to impose, wanted to cause the most damage possible because the blast took place uh, just at the moment of early morning rush hour when children were going to school. People would have been going into this uh, military branch and cars would have been heading to work in Damascus.